Hi everyone, this is Mika. This is my tarot and astrology reading for Libra. For the first full week in July, July 3rd through the 9th, I am using my Mystical Wisdom Tarot deck. And the first card that I pulled for you for Sunday, July 3rd is Opportunity Knocks. So that's a wonderful card to get. That just means that, you know, whatever you're doing that day, be open and welcome to an opportunity that, that could come your way somebody could offer you a job they could offer you a gift they could offer you a trip they could offer you something small just like you know a night away from the kids or the spouse just some type of opportunity is going to come your way so remember that for july 3rd which is a sunday and just be open to it you know if somebody says something to you don't just automatically give it a cold no like some people do just Possibly think it over, be open to it. The next card that you get is the competition card. That actually comes up for holiday here in the US, July 4th, which is a Monday. And it just means that, <clears throat> excuse me, I know I'm talking really, really fast. You just need to summon the courage and self-confidence in whatever you're doing on, to celebrate the holiday that day. There, I don't know everybody's life and what's going on with all of you, but just know, dear Libra, that you know, if you are in a situation, possibly you could be working even though it's a holiday or you could be abroad watching this video. Just know that some type of competition that you have in your life, whether it's with you and another person, could be with another animal, you competing for another job, another place to move to or a house to purchase, a car you're bidding on, anything. There just could be some type of tension and competition in your life that you have to summon the courage to face on July 4th. But it's not a bad thing, you know. It just means that you are standing up for yourself and facing facing some things. Next is Tuesday, July 5th. You have the moving forward card in reverse. I take it in reverse to mean that it's in a weakened state. So there could be some type of hindrance blocking you from moving forward with some type of project, possibly moving, switching jobs, um, purchasing something. It could be a buffet of things going on. But just know that when the card shows up in the weakened state, that there could be some kind of blockage. But, you know, it's temporary. This is only coming up for um, Tuesday the 5th. So, you know, it could possibly correct itself or go away. The following day, you have the Seven Deadly Sins card. And again, it's not a bad thing. It just means that we're living in some crazy times right now with a lot of changes. There's like changes happening every day. You know, your day starts off one way and by the end of it, like 8, 12, 14 hours later, it's like, wow, like I can't believe I went through all that in one day. So just know that you could be exposed to the more um, negative aspects of human life. Uh, on Wednesday, but just know that again, you know, you don't have to let it bring you down. You don't have to dwell on that energy. You always have the ability to change your mind and rise above it or just distance yourself from the situation or the person or whatever is going on that day. Uh, the following day, you have the animal bond card, which is a great card to have. If you're not an animal person, this might be the universe's way of telling you to be more open-minded and considering, you know, loving animals, welcoming them into your life. I always say that a person really hasn't lived or risen to, I don't know, a soul level without having a connection with an animal. I'm a huge animal lover, as anybody who knows me will attest to. I'm a huge animal lover, and no, not just cats. <laughs> even though I'm a cat lady I love animals so I'm encouraging you Libra to at least be open-minded and considering um, just going with the flow and you know utilizing that animal bond that you have or don't have create one uh, also I just wanted to make an announcement that this card the money card came out and I can't remember if it popped out during Thursday or Friday. I am sorry about that. But just know that you might have some money issues or you might be just thinking of ways to increase, you know, your wealth and, 
you know, Libra does like the finer things in life and they like balance and order. So if you've been struggling lately, uh, money could be a theme um, Thursday or Friday, either day. And just know that you're thinking of ways to increase your abundance. Um, one of the best ways I've learned is be creative, think outside the box, don't limit yourself, and give gratitude. And yes, sometimes this is very difficult, even for somebody as blessed as myself. I say thank you every day. I try to speak and state to the universe things that I am grateful for every day. And you know what? It really does make a difference. Just saying. Uh, the next day, um, excuse me, Friday, is face your fears. Again, interesting card to get, especially on a Friday, um, which is July 8th. Uh, you know, whatever you have going on in your life, again, could be linked to that competition you got going on on the 4th of July. I don't know. But just know that the universe is asking you to face your fears. Don't be scared. Uh, just say, you know what, to hell with it. Buy fear. I don't fucking need you. Sorry for the F-bomb. But you know what? It's fucking relative. Just say goodbye to the fear. Face it. Move on. For Saturday, the universe is telling you, Libra, you know, you might need a vacation. Take the time to relax, have an adventure. You know, it's interesting that this is, the card is coming up after the holiday weekend here in the U.S. But again, so many of us try to cram so much in during the holiday weekend, especially if we're traveling or having company visit, that sometimes you do need a vacation after a holiday weekend. So, you know, pay heed to what the universe is saying and just give yourself some downtime squeeze it in if you can because let me tell you something if you don't take care of yourself nobody else is going to trust me and the overall theme for this week is children in reverse and you know it's a beautiful card to get just know that whatever children you may have in your life even if you don't have any it could be again your fur babies if you have any it could be children of friends family members roommates you know children you come in contact with through work throughout your day-to-day -day travels i don't know but children's going to be the theme of the week and it's interesting because aside from the fourth the competition card being the fourth of july it's also the new moon in cancer which <laughs> it rules nurturing and motherhood so i think that's pretty apropos for children to be the theme of uh, the first full week in july Take care, beautiful Libras. If you like this video, please like, share, <laughs> subscribe, and comment. And also, just, you know, hit me up at uh, mysticmika81 at aol.com and book a tarot reading. Or you can order a natal chart report or both. All right, take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye.